All right, guys, so here's, here's the deal with the river. And we've never done this. We've always been big on, on hunting in the fall and stuff like that. So we never really fished a lot in the fall, but we decided this year we, we got to get out here. Because the big thing is what happens is everybody knows about the spring run and all that. And that's when you get a big rush of fish that come up the river. And most of the time that's all your females. There's actually a secondary run that happens in the fall. And that's when a lot of your males come up in the river and they just get loaded. So you come in here and it's, it's your perfect eater fish. I'm like, you, you can't complain about a 16, 17 inch walleye. It doesn't hurt the population, they're all males. There's plenty of males to fertilize the eggs. You wanna keep the eggs in the system. But all we're out here doing is we're finding our current breaks down in a little hole. And I caught a couple fish down there. And as the sun came, we kind of switched off. And we actually we've done one drift now. And we're just following the, the current break. Ooh, there goes the camera. And we're just following one of the current breaks. We're kind of bouncing. We, we drift out to like 20 feet of water. And I motor back. I, don't motor back in, but I use a trolling motor. I pull us back up into 12 foot, and we're kind of just drifting, drifting that break. And all I'm doing is I'm just casting that ribbon wrap and just giving it little pops coming up that break. And yeah, and I think where did I catch the first one? Oh, well, it's probably about 150 yards now. But I mean, it's with the rain that we had, the current moved up. We're, we're drifting pretty good. Where you got to stay on top of it, otherwise you're getting slack line. But Andy's been dragging a minnow. I don't think we, did we even get a bite on a minnow yet. I had one hit. And he had one hit. I caught that one perch on a minnow. And all I'm doing with my minnow is I got it off the opposite side of the boat and it, it's just dead sticking. I just, every once in a while I touch it and I check it. And you know, make sure, I'm keeping that right on bottom. But, but yeah, that rip and wrap, and that's a color I designed. And can't complain about it. Put, put five fish in the boat with that and I missed probably three or four other ones. So that's what's fun is to get this fall fishing. I mean, if you're a big time hunter, it sucks. I mean, right now, yeah, it's Halloween weekend. Exactly, it's Halloween today. This is COVID business. Nobody's been talking about Halloween. But yeah, you know, it's it sucks. We, I lost, I'm losing a day of hunting, but I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun today catching fish. So that's a plus. Having a fun. If you want to come out here and try this sometime, find yourself a current break. You can post up, you can jig. A lot of guys say they use a jig in a minnow, but I don't know. I've tried it. I haven't caught a fish on it today outside the perch. What are you doing back there, Andy? I, I, I lost all my boat control. We're just drifting. I'm not even doing anything. Debate. <laughs> <laughs>